What's up, guys? I'm Chris, and welcome to VH Regions. Um, so, real quick topic here. Uh, and I, it's one of those things where I thought it was kind of obvious, uh, but enough questions, enough times come, so I make a video to future redirect so I don't have to answer the question. Um, and that is, which you should by know now, identifying compression for your Niven Racing Pistons. Um, <clears throat> First off, the main and obvious thing would be to do is go to the, 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 the piston you're trying to buy, open up the description, and boom. Nippin Racing gives you the uh, this block of this head, this block of this head, what your compression is across the board. But, um, you know, the cheat, the cheat way to do that, or the, the quick way to do that, if you don't want to go through and compare for each... Well, actually, I still think that's obviously the best way to do it. Like, hey, I'm going to use this block in this head, that's the compression I'm going to get. But just for you guys that didn't realize this or didn't know, um, Nippon Racing Pistons are designed after stock pistons. Um, what they do is they, they take, I guess, I, I'm assuming the mold of a, of a Honda piston and they recreate it with their own materials to make it a stronger piston and also modify it to work with floating wrist pins. So what you're getting is... Uh, the PR3 piston, you're getting a B16 piston. The ITR piston, you're getting an ITR piston. If you're getting a, a low compression turbo piston, you're getting a, a B18 piston. Um, and I think that might be the combos that they have for that. Then, uh, of course, if you go like K series, they have the ITR and uh, K282, those those piston casts. So, uh, now the two reasons, the two reasons why I like going to Nip and Racing being like my go-to performance piston there is for two reasons. One, because the cost brand new is great. Two hundred dollars for a floating piston uh, is great, brand new. And then the second being that um, with that, uh, with that you could use pistons to keep towards stock compression. You know, like a lot of times I like to say, uh, if you want a snappy very responsive uh, turbo build and you're not going to go crazy high in power and that means you're staying in under 500 you know which is what you want to do to keep these pistons alive anyway is to go with as close to stock compression again not high compression necessarily although you can do that and i talked about another video uh here um you can do st uh, high compression but you know if you're I, I prefer staying towards close to stock you know you'll get a good response without having to worry about being too crazy high um, so my favorite go-to piston would be like the PR3. Uh, of course, for my own personal CSS block, I'm doing, I'm doing a low compression. That's because, you know, I didn't really pick and choose the piston I would go with. And besides, honestly, I don't really mind doing the lower compression with this build. It's still going to be 9 to 1. So it's, you know, low, but not as low as some turbo pistons go because there are a lot of B-series turbo pistons that are like 8, 8 to 1. So at least I'm not that bad. It's not that bad. All right, so anyway, uh, like I said, quick video just to talk about that. You know, it's, I've got the question in my DMs several times, got a couple times in the comments. Um, so also, I want to wrap this up with this, saying I used to be, I used to have a schedule for the video for my video uploads. As a matter of fact, I think if you go even into somewhere in my channel description, it'll talk about like a, a generic uh, schedule I had. And I did hold it for a couple weeks, and then I kind of slumped off and now I've been back in you know for the last two two and a half months I've been pretty hardcore at uploading again and uh recently like I you you know I kind of burned myself out on the engine building aspect of the channel you know I hadn't I hadn't done any engine builds I think for a year I think it's been a year since the last time I've done an engine build on the channel and uh you know I just I just suddenly I got back into it because of what happened with the CSS nipping block and the D16 and now another B18 I'm going to be doing and so on and so on. So uh, with that being said, uh, I, I do want to move back to this format. This is relaxing for me. This, I like doing this. I enjoy it. I can, I can focus on talking and not to worry about splitting between, you know, going over specifications for torque or whatnot and then, and then actually trying to let you guys know what I'm doing at the same time. So what I've done is I've, I've organized a, a, a list of topics I want to go over is a lot of these are not going to be new. I've mentioned them a while ago and some of you guys are probably like, what the fuck? Where are they at? You know, well, like I said, I got caught up in the engine building. So what I'm going to do is uh, um, Monday, Wednesday, Friday are going to be discussion videos with Saturday being like a swing day. It's going to be an optional day for me. If I do a Saturday upload, it's going to be something in the workshop. It'll be something I'm working on the Integra or I'm working on the engine. Uh, so Monday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, you can look forward to uploads for me 
And I think that I have enough. I've already written down a, a bunch of notes here, and I have enough to go for the next two or three weeks. And I'm always thinking of new stuff. Even if it's one or two videos a week, I think that I can keep the three a week upload going for at least a month, maybe longer. We'll see how it goes. You know, you guys always give me feedback and new from uh, new stuff to talk about, so I could probably add from there. And um, and then of course, you know, working on the car. The reason why I give it as a swing day is because uh, I I've noticed that I have been pushing real hard to do work, and I know it seems like I'm not getting a lot done, but it's kind of it's it's kind of hard, especially for you family guys out there to know there to balance with uh, your family and your projects. Plus, you know, the way schedules are for my son being in school and my wife working during the times I'm sleeping and me working when, uh, you know, when she's home, you know, it's kind of hard. We only have two days, like we got you know, Saturday and Sunday if we're going to do anything together. So I'm always trying to balance time to maybe see family or whatnot and trying to do work and spend time with the wife and kids. So, um... Yeah, so Saturdays aren't going to be guaranteed, but I think for the for the, for a while it's going to be for a couple of weeks. It, it's probably going to you're probably going to get something out of me on Saturdays. Um, so right now I'm playing with the idea of scheduling videos, like doing a video uh, one day in advance, and then like having it automatically come out like uh, at five o'clock Eastern time, five p.m. Eastern. Because normally what I do is I, I make a video, and as soon as I make the video, whenever I make the video, I immediately upload it and release it. And so that kind of like scatters out my time. Sometimes it's like 3 o'clock in the morning, 10 o'clock in the morning, 2 o'clock in the afternoon, you know, shit like that. So unless I do like a news update, I'm going to try and keep it 5 p.m. Eastern time. It's going to be on an auto upload. So when it uploads, I will be at work. But uh, generally speaking, I take lunch break around 6 or 7 o'clock at night. So uh, when you guys start coming in, chiming in on your feedback or whatever, I should you know, have a decent amount there and be able to address it when I'm on lunch. Uh, so we'll see how that works, see how viewership goes. Uh, I'm open to changing the time if I have enough people ask, you know, requests. So um, we'll, I'll do that 5 p.m. Uh, 5 p.m. Eastern. I'll do Monday, Wednesday, Fridays, and uh, Saturdays is going to be like a gimme type thing. I don't know what time they're going to get uploaded. Uh, it really depends on the UFC schedule. <laughs> uh, so... Uh, I think uh, the next three videos to look forward to and I'm gonna try and like have like a schedule release on Facebook and you know you'll lose in the comments because as I'm commenting it's gonna bump down but um, just trying to watch out I'm gonna what I'll do is I'll release the schedule for uh, on the on the first video of the week Monday I'll probably even pin it in the comments like so you know what to look forward to for the rest of that week uh, so there's this the nipping the nipping racing piston compression and then I'll have um, I'm gonna do uh, Wednesday's video, I'm going to count this for Monday. So Wednesday's video is going to be uh, base maps and tuning for people who don't have a Honda tuner around them. Um, and Friday will be um, uh, single cam cranks and oil pump shimming. And then, of course, Saturday will be whatever I'm doing tech-wise. All right, guys, so thanks for watching. And uh, all my social media links are in the description below. And remember, guys, you do not need to ask my permission to ask me a question. If you ask my permission to ask me a question, I'm not going to say anything to you. I'm just going to stay quiet until you get to the point where you figure it out that, hey, I just need to ask. Uh, yeah, there's that. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys, and peace.